Yo, what is up guys? Thanks for coming back. Bye. Today, I'm taking you back inside the kitchen and I'm gonna be cooking you Jafiki style baby bath ribs. That is right, guys. Super, super easy. I mean, you can get these ribs going in absolutely no time and it's gonna be a hit for everybody. Stick around at the end of the video to find out what sets these apart from everybody else. I will see you in two seconds. Thank you for coming back by. I truly appreciate you guys for everything that you do. Peace. All right, guys, here we are, and this is what we're gonna do. Today is a super easy day, okay? I got some delicious, beautiful baby back ribs, okay? Made in the USA. That means they made the cow in the USA. That's what we're doing. Support the, support the states. Anyway, so we got these two beautiful racks. Got a little proprietary uh, rib rub here. So if you guys don't know what this is, it's usually like garlic. Uh, I use garlic powder, paprika, some smoked paprika, some other spices and stuff. There's a ton of rib rubs out there. You can get it over the counter, super easy. All right, and that's what we're gonna do. So we got this, we got our ribs, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start rubbing this all over our ribs. Super easy day here, guys, stand by. All right, guys, so this is what we got. We got our ribs, okay, and what we have to do, it's real easy, it sounds kind of like a pain in the butt. It could, be, it could be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Sorry guys, okay, this is the real life cooking channel right here. So we gotta remove this silver skin, it's called, okay? And it's this membrane on the bottom of the ribs. So you just get a little piece going here, right? And then you can grab it. And usually this stuff comes right off, right? So you're just gonna pull that whole membrane off. See that? and we just pull that right off, okay? And then we're gonna ditch that in the garbage, all right? And then we're gonna do the same with this one over here. The easiest way to do it is get over the top of a bone, right? That way you're not cutting into the meat, but you can separate that membrane out, right? Take it all the way to the end, grab this sucker. All right, it can be a pain in the butt. It can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Ah, but. Boom, comes right off. There we go. Let's wash these bad boys up. All right, so here we are. We're gonna take these. We're gonna put them right in here, okay? And we're gonna kind of squeeze these bad boys in here, okay? It's okay, because as these cook, they're gonna shrink down a little bit, all right? So we'll put them in and it's gonna be a tight fit, and that's okay. And then we're gonna take our rub, okay? Again, in a good rib rub, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, paprika, uh, pepper, salt, onion powder. Did I say onion powder? Okay, and just get that on there, okay? We are gonna rub that in. Okay, put them right in the middle and then they're going in the pan at 350 for three hours, okay? 350, three hours, uncovered. I know, it's not, what, what do you mean uncovered? No, it's gonna be fine, okay? Because I got a secret at the end. It's gonna make them really awesome and you're gonna love it, okay? Your peaky rings. All right, what is up guys? We're back. These ribs have been in and they got, uh, I think they've been in for like two hours. I think we put them in at 4.45, it's almost 
and so okay so they got about another 30 minutes to go uh, uh yeah another yeah about another 30 minutes okay so anyways this is what we're gonna do we're gonna make a barbecue sauce does that sound complicated it's actually not okay so what i got is ketchup worcestershire sauce onion powder black pepper garlic salt and i'm gonna throw in a little bit of fresh garlic as well that's it and you got barbecue sauce super easy so let's do that now oh one more thing nice dark beer okay not like a stout but you know like modello that's really good uh this is a modello negro and they're delicious uh and actually let's go ahead and open this up We'll put this in first and then I'll drink it, okay? So, just a little splash. And a little splash for me. Mmm, oh, that's good. All right, let me bring you in close. All right, now that I got you guys in close, so we got ketchup, right? And we got about eight ounces of ketchup in here, okay? A splash of brewski. Um, here's our delicious spices, okay? And those are just gonna go right in there, just like that. And then we have our Worcestershire, okay? And we're gonna do that. And once that is done, we are gonna whisk, sorry, got a little bit going on behind you. So we're gonna whisk this in, okay? Look at that, delicious. Okay, let's turn on the heat. Small burner. There we go. We'll turn on the heat and we're gonna cook this. All right, and this is just gonna cook, simmer. And we're gonna have the best barbecue sauce that you've ever had. All right, so how easy was that, right? So we got our barbecue sauce cooking here. We have our ribs going down here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did cover them up around the two hour mark, okay? Um, they were starting to get a little uh, charred on top, which is okay, because that's what we're going for ultimately anyways, but I did cover them with foil. Um, 350 on this oven was a little bit hot for that, I guess. Um, so, around the two hour mark, be prepared to cover them up. Now, we only got about 30 minutes left, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this barbecue sauce that we uh, just made here over the top of them, uh, and then there's gonna be a surprise here at the end, okay? So what makes these ribs so different, okay? I'm gonna tell you, stand by. All right, guys, so we have cleared off a spot for these ribs, and I'm gonna get them out of the oven. Oh yeah. All right, let's take a look at this. What do we got? Oh, look at that. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let's, uh, let's get that barbecue sauce on there. Go heavy or go home, baby. And back in the oven, uncovered. All right, guys, check it out. So what we're going to do in the meantime here, okay, um, is, so let me just tell you, the trick to every great meal is timing, right? Just got to time it out. Perfect. Okay. So we got about another 15, 20 minutes left on those ribs. Okay. Uh, but in the meantime, I got these two beautiful sweet potatoes here. I skinned them. All right. Peeled them, whatever. All right. They're skinned. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to dice them up into nice little like one inch chunks. They're going in the pan, okay? And then we're gonna put some olive oil on them, saute them up, super easy, that's your side, okay? Look, when you come here to cook, all right, I wanna give you easy meals, something that anybody can do. I'm no genius, I don't know if you know that or not, but I'm no genius, okay? And if I can do it, you can do it. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it together. And that's what this is about, this is about 
cohesiveness about family. It's about being together and doing things, right? We're gonna get through this life together. I'm gonna get you through easy recipes together, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna chop this up, throw it in a pan, saute with olive oil, little salt and pepper, boom, done. Sweet potatoes are done. Here we go. Ten minutes. All right, guys. So the uh, ribs are ready. They've kind of caramelized. Now here's the trick. This is what we're gonna do, and I learned this from my wife. Okay, and I thought she was crazy for doing it the first time that I saw it, but then when they came out, they were just like, they were so delicious. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna let you in on a little family secret here. Okay. So we're gonna pull these out. We're gonna cut them. The way that we're gonna cut them is we're gonna cut along the bone right along the bone on each side, right? So we got one bone with a nice big fat chunk of rib meat on it, right? And that way we don't have like a little, a little rib meat on each side of the bone, right? And then you have to flip it and then you're nibbling just a little, a little bit of rib meat, right? So the best way to eat these, right? Cut it along the bone. You got a lot of rib meat on one side, plain bone on the other, and we'll just work our way all the way across the rack. And that's what we're gonna do. Ready? Here we go. They're done. They are done, done. Ooh, 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 they're breaking apart. Okay, uh, all right. We're gonna go along the bone. Boom, there's one. Along the bone. Boom, there's two. Okay. And then along this bone, this bone's gone. Okay, now we're gonna put these things right back in the pan. Oh shit, okay. We're gonna put them in the pan. Okay, we're gonna cut along a bone. All right. <gasps> All right. Don't worry, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, check this out. All right, see how I put them in there? All nicely spaced out, right? On the side, and then this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that barbecue sauce. In the oven they go. Oh look, I got something. I can never get out of this. I can never get out of this. All right guys, ribs are almost done. And I said put them back in for five minutes, but what I meant to say was put them on broil. My uh, beautiful wife came in and she corrected me. It's like they need to be on broil, not bake. Sorry, honey, we're good. All right, so check this out, sweet potatoes. Give them a fork test. They're fork tender. The fork goes right in. These bad boys are done. These bad boys are done. Look at that, look at that golden. Mmm, delicioso. Delicioso. All right, so these are done. We're gonna pull our ribs out. And we're gonna plate these babies up. All right, guys, out of the oven, these ribs come, and they are, oof, man, they are freaking caramelized perfectly. They look delicious. We're gonna go with that. And we're gonna get these bad boys on a plate. All right, so what do we got? 
sweet potato. Boom. Look at those delicious looking sweet potatoes. Right there. And, God damn it. All right. Check these out. Look at those babies. Mm, oh my God. Oh my God. We'll do a long one here. Ooh, look at it falling off the bone. Guys, when you get through with this, what an accomplishment. Homemade barbecue sauce, sweet potatoes, and ribs falling off the bone. Three hours, but only because it takes these things three hours to cook. We're done. Family's fed, awesome. Awesome recipe, awesome for barbecues, awesome for everything. Let's give these things a try. All right, all right, all right. Guys, thanks for coming by today and checking out this episode. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, really appreciate you guys, seriously. It's a lot of fun for me. Sorry that I'm not cranking out the uh, content like every day or even weekly, but you know, we all got lives to live and I promised myself that this channel would not own me. I own it. But you guys, thank you. Thank you. Anyways, let's try these ribs. They're falling off the bone. You can see that. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. They are juicy. They are sticky, juicy, crispy. They're everything. Mmm. Mmm. All right, let's try these sweet taters. Mmm. Woo! They're hot. They're good. They're perfect. They're perfect. I'm gonna go get this shit to my family. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go get this delicious meal to my family because I love them so much. Thanks, guys. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I will see you on the next episode of the Jupiti Peace. Peace.